Hi, my name is Florian Kohler, also known as Venom. Joining me is Jamilet. Uh, the last few months we covered all the basics of pool, so today we're gonna go over some advanced billiard shots. Because sometimes, you know, to win a game of pool, you need to know more than just the basics. So today we're gonna do a little more advanced shot, and I'm gonna start with what we call the masse shot. So masse shot is when you curve the ball, so that means instead of the ball going in a straight line, it's gonna curve. Uh, it's, it's probably one of the hardest shots in pool, it's really not easy to ex explain, but I'm gonna try go over it. Again, you're gonna use the spins, um, you know, left and right, and uh, you're gonna combine all that. So the only difference with the masse and a normal spin shot is so, a normal shot, you're basically flat, skew parallel to the table as much as possible. At mass day, you're gonna raise your cue over 45 degrees usually. So this is in you know, a very typical situation, for example, so I'm here, gotta make the eight ball, you know, I played bad position or I got my open in safety. I can't kick it here. I can't really go three rail, I mean, it's pretty difficult. So the easiest way would be to mass day it. So I'm just gonna try and hit the white ball around the two, make the eight ball. Just like that. And that's how you get away of a very difficult situation and still win the game. Now to explain you the mass A, it's uh, like I say, it's one of the most complex shots in pool. So it's not very easy, but there's some basic rule that goes in. So we're gonna take the cue ball, take it as a clock the same way, but instead of hitting it from this side, we're gonna hit it from up there. So if you go from up there, raise your cue like that. So, you know, you can raise it from 45 to 90 degree depending on how far you want to go and how much circle, like uh, how much curve you want to get. So we're first going to hit six right here. I'm going to show what it does. It's basically going to go straight back to me. I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to go for nine o'clock, for example. So right here, I'm going to hit nine. You see the ball goes totally on the left side. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing, but with three o'clock. Look, it should be to the right side. There you go. And basically now I can tell you, you can combine all that. And you know, let's say you wanna hit, you know, let's say seven, you know, seven o'clock. So we're gonna go here, a bit to the left side. Same thing. And the ball goes back to you. There's a little bit of left. So of course it looks easy like that, but it's very hard to judge a mass A because again, you know, it's gonna depend on the table, how much it slides, how much, if the balls are clean or dirty, it's gonna be harder. Um, but it really can save you in some desperate situation, I would say. Not all the shots, not all the masse, they're not so vertical. I mean, there's a lot of time you have what, we, what I call semi-masse. So if I'm gonna go right here, instead of being, you know, dead close, let's say I'm here and I wanna make the eight ball, which is in the corner out there. Okay, and I got, I got this. Uh, you know, again, I can, I can try to kick it, but maybe, you know, some object balls are gonna block me here, and you know, it's, it's still a pretty hard shot, but you can do what I call semi masse so you're gonna go raise your cue about 45 degrees, and hit a lot of left spin. Just like that. And again, you know, it saves you from a desperate situation. Uh, take some practice. Um, I can't really advise you to do it in your local pools, and if you do, please try to protect the table, because it's gonna leave pretty bad mark, especially if you aim you know, at, a, at an angle and you go follow through into the felt, which is gonna cut the felt. So you really don't wanna do that in any pool hole. And if you do, try to protect the table. What I need to insist on the mass A shot is that um, people always think you just hit the ball and you don't hit the felt. You actually do hit the felt when you go to a mass A shot. So you can see at a close up, when you're gonna hit the ball, it's gonna make a, a white mark on the table which is gonna be the burning mark, the friction. And then you're gonna see the, the mark at your tip. So I'm gonna go right here. And there you go, you can see the white spot here. And then the tip of the, the chalk from the tip. So if you do it at a good angle, you won't make a hole. So it's just gonna leave a burning mark. But if you do it at a bad angle, you might just go too deep and you're gonna cut the failed, which is, which is very bad. So again, you know, take some practice. It's not uh, advice to do it if you're just a beginner, but once you get used to pool and you start getting serious, it's a very uh, mandatory shot to learn. Mass A shot is very difficult, but sometimes it's easier to actually jump a ball. So again, you know, popular belief in pool is that to jump a ball, 
you have to go here and go under the ball and kind of lift it up. But that's actually a foul, so you can never do that. So, you know, if you see somebody that does that, that is bad, don't ever do that. First off, uh, you're gonna have to aim low, which is gonna probably my rip the field, leave a mark. It's not good, pool holes don't wanna see that. And second of all, it's a, it's a foul, literally. Um, in pool, you cannot put your tip under the ball and lift it up. To execute a proper jump shot, you basically need what we call a jump cue. It's possible to do with a normal cue, but it's a lot easier with this kind of cue. So a jump cue is a shorter cue. It's a lot lighter. The wood is a little bit more uh, hard. It's a harder thing. And the tip is also very hard. It's what we call usually phenolic. It's a little bit different. It's not normal leather. Um, you know, again, so we're going to change cue. And I'm going to show you how to, how to do a proper jump shot. The best way I can explain it is you're going to put your white ball here on the rail, frozen to the rail. And let's do the three ball about a diamond the way. So always chalk your cue as usual. Like I said, jump shot is not under the table, under the, the bottom of the pool ball. So here we're on the rail, so you're frozen. So you cannot go below the, 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 below the center of the ball. You're gonna go above the center, about 45 degree angle. Obviously, you know, subbunning the shot, you can go lower if you wanna go further, and you can go higher if you wanna jump from closer. So in that case, you know, I'm about 45 degree, and a jump shot is, is a, it's a pretty easy shot actually, but it's very different than a normal pool shot. A normal pull shot is a long, steady follow through. A jump shot to me is a short, fast poke. I'll show you what it does, just like that. So again, so it's a short, fast poke. There's several methods. I mean, I use in this one what we call the dart grip. So I just do kind of like if you're throwing a dart. So two or three fingers here. And it's just a very quick, you know, quick release, poke, short, fast poke, just like that. So you never really follow through to the table. And there is another way, it's what we call basically the normal way, so what I call the American grip. So it's kind of like when you're holding a pool cue. So you're gonna hold it the same way, but you're gonna grip it a little tighter here. Same thing, also 45. But that requires a little more follow through. Again, it depends the people. Some people you know, like the dart grip, some people like the American grip. To me, the American grip is gonna allow you to aim better, while the dart grip is gonna allow you to uh, jump easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to set up a jump shot for you. So let's say you got this here. Okay, and I got this there. You know, I could mass it a ball, you know, but in that case, it's very difficult because the ball is very far from the pockets. Mass is a lot easier when the object ball is close to the pocket. In that case, it's clearly for a jump shot. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna line up my shot, try aim for it, just like that. And that's you know, another life-saving shot if your opponent did a safety on you or if you just play by position. I did show you how to mass in, how to jump. Now what you gotta know is so you can do it a mass in with a normal cue, you can do a jump shot with a normal cue, but mainly a jump cue. And if you really wanna do an extreme mass in, you got what we call a mass a cue here. So I'm gonna put the two of them together here. So as you can see, a mass a cue is gonna be a lot shorter. We're gonna put them in the same size right here. So a mass A cue is a lot shorter, so you know, you're gonna cut that much off a normal cue. Uh, the tip is bigger, so it's 14 millimeter. Um, it's also usually softer for me, and the shaft's also thicker, so more resistant. And the uh, main thing is it's a heavier cue. Simply heavier because it's gonna allow you to hold it vertical, and it's gonna make you go further with the ball. Again, you know, this is only a cue I would require for you if you're you know, starting to really push your game further, and especially if you try to do a few trick shots. Okay, so the best way for me to teach you how to jump a ball is really just to practice that drill. So what I did is I just put one, two, three, frozen to the rail, frozen to each other, and then nine, 10, 11, about a diamond away. It's about as easy as it gets for distance for you. So again, just grab your jump cue, 45 degrees, short, fast poke, and all we're gonna do is gonna try to make the one, the two, the three out there without touching this line out here, okay? Do number one, number two, and number three. Now, of course, you know, I only put three balls, but you could put a lot more balls, and the more you're gonna go here, the more the angle is gonna be tough. But it's basically the best drill you can get. Again, if you do it in a pool, please put a piece of felt or something, protect the table, because it's gonna leave some burning mark. On the mass A shot, I don't have as many drills for you, because mainly you're gonna have to, uh, to kind of find out by yourself, but what you can do is you can just simply put the ball here, you know, and let's say we're gonna put the white ball here, nine ball there, 
and you're going to put a ball you know, at this distance, try to mass set this ball into the 11, then move the 11 here, 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 and here. And what you're going to do is you're going to try to find your way so you can identify how much spin and how much backspin you need to put to, put, to touch each ball. That's going to be really helpful for you to judge. And again, you know, mass A is a very instinctive shot, so it's going to take some time, but worth it by the end of the day. OK, I know that seemed pretty difficult, right? But with this guy's help, I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. And make sure to check out our next episode, Rack and Break. That's it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel right here and check out PoolDog.com for all your pool and build supplies. Thank <laughs> you.